Hello everybody, we finally know the name of the new game, which you just saw. It's called Skylanders Trap Team. It was a lot of fun last night. We did a live stream, Malstall. I'm not copying Fred, who I was just talking to Y-Rock and Dustin. And when they did the... When they showed the live video at 7, we all watched it at the same time. So that was very cool. At 7 o'clock, um, I got email from Activision as well. I went over the press release very fast because I want to get a video up yesterday. Since I did get the press release, and I didn't realize until this morning that I also got some pictures, um, some logos, which you just saw, and some screenshots. Yeah, that kind of stuff from Activision. So I'm going to put all that in this video throughout, kind of disperse it. A lot of the stuff you've probably already seen if you've watched any videos. This is going to be more my take on what I think about the game. The good stuff, the bad stuff, everything in between. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to put the pictures in throughout. You'll see how I do it. Hopefully you like it. Um, give me feedback. Let me know what you think what's going over well, what isn't. And let me say this, yeah, I'll say it right now. They didn't say everything right away, so if you're upset about something, just wait because they're not going to announce everything at once. And I'll get into one of the things a lot of people are wondering about later. All right. Can I go over the concept a little bit again? Chaos is back again. He has found all the villains. They are in a prison called Cloud Cracker Prison. Um, he breaks them all out. The prison is made of Traptanium. What he does is blows up the prison. All the Traptanium supposedly comes down here along with the new class of Skylanders called Trap Masters. And what you can do and you already know this probably but I'm just repeating it again. Um, you can eventually, once you beat the bad guys, villains, you can trap them in these traps. And you can play them in the game. So what I'm thinking is, and you can capture Chaos, and I'm sure Chaos is going to be towards the end. You're not going to be able to trap Chaos in the beginning of the game. Probably the last thing you can do. Anyways, trap Chaos, and then replay the game entirely as chaos if you wish so that is very cool so because there are traps it's a whole new concept you are going to have to buy a new portal and there's a few people that aren't happy about that but honestly there's no way around it and the concept is so um, different and they do this on purpose because they want it to be different they want it to be unique every game is unique in its own way so since they want that to happen since the innovation is going to be so different from game to game you kind of have to expect that it's going to be a new portal and so you just have to live with it it's not bad the portal is really cool um, I'll put a screenshot of the portal with, I think, snapshot on it. So you can check that out before I go any further right now. So that gives you a good look at the portal, a figure on the portal. Now let me also show you a quick look at two of the traps which are really cool they are clear um, I'll just let you look at them easier that way right so there's no way you can use your old portal with the traps because like I said you're going to trap the villain you need to put that piece back in the portal 
so you can play as your villains. There are at least 40 villains, and there are at least, and this will get into the characters a little bit here, there are at least 50 characters according to the press release, at least. Some have said there is, might be 60. There is the Portal Master, the <laughs> ah, Portal Masters. You're going to be in the game. No. Trap Masters and then Core, regular characters we're used to. And I will put some video of them, the ones we know of, a little bit. That's pretty much it. Don't know about Light Core. Like I said, they're not releasing everything at once because they want it to release over time so you can get more excited about it, etc. So that covers the basic gist um, doo -doo -doo. It is available on a ton of systems so if you play the game now you have a system that will work with the new game Wii, Wii U, PlayStation, PlayStation 4 Xbox 360 and the Xbox One so let's now get into things I like, don't like. Some will be repetitive, so just bear with me. I have a list I'm working off of to try to organize. I usually just talk. I don't even write stuff down usually. Anyways, so, like I said, you have those traps. There's 40 villains, and I think, at least according to the video that um, Skylighter Games put up, the first video they showed I think and you can correct me if I'm wrong 16 traps and there are 40 villains so that means you can put more than one villain on a trap but what I'm wondering is and this is kind of like this is more a question will you put more than one villain on a trap or will you just get doubles of some traps and put like one villain per trap. I am more inclined, and this is going to cost more money, but I am more inclined to put one villain per trap. Why? I'm not sure. It just seems like a better idea to me. It probably isn't. But if I was to say, that's probably what I would say. Let me know what you think. And then you can kind of know, you can kind of know, because some of the traps will look the same, what villain is on what trap. But you can, like I said, put more than one villain on a trap. The other thing is, when you're playing two players, can you both be villains? And that might be hard only because if you have a villain on one trap and you want to be person you're playing with wants to be another villain on another trap I don't think you can put two traps on one portal I'm actually positive you can't it doesn't look like it so to me that means you won't be able to play two people at once co-op mode will not be able to play as villains at the same time that's what I think and that's what it looks like. So let me know what you're going to do. Like I said, I'm more of the persuasion to um, have a villain for every trap, which will cost more money. So we'll see how that goes. That's one question I have. And one question for you. Um, let me, I'll do this now. I'm going to put a few screenshots of some of the villains you can be. There's a werewolf, which I don't have, that was on the video. The Skylanders did. But you also can be the Chompy Mage, um, Chaos, uh, Dreadnought, that's kind of like a vehicle. And here are a few of those right now. So that is very cool. The Chompy Mage has always been one of my favorite villains. So that will be very cool to be him. 
Um, I'm not sure how effective he'll be because Chompies don't have that much killing power, but it'll be a ton of fun. So this is kind of long in the traps. I didn't talk about this earlier. How will the traps be sold? Malastal talked about this as well. Will it be blind bags? Kind of like Disney Infinity, or will it be um, packaged in a way you can see it, or will it be packaged with characters? I'm kind of thinking it will be more like a blind bag thing, kind of because that's what Carl thinks, and it makes sense, which at the same time might be a little annoying because you'll get multiple traps. But like I just said, I, the way I probably will play is, I'll probably need multiple traps because like I said, I'll probably do a villain per trap. So that wouldn't bother me a ton, to tell you the truth. So that's the other thing. How do you think they'll sell the traps? There's another question. So lots of comments. Fill it up. I'm not going to be doing too many. Yeah, I won't have another video for a bit, so plenty of time to comment. So that covers the traps, the portal, the villains. Now let's get on to the characters. Um, yeah, let's get on to the characters. So they've released a few characters for us to look at so far, which is very cool. Not many. But let me say this right off the bat, and this is why I enjoy Skylanders more than their arch enemy Disney Infinity. Because the characters are unique. They're not rehashing um, existing characters that are in the Disney line and just bringing them into a game to play. All the characters in Skylanders are unique, new just thought of have unique abilities for the most part sometimes the abilities overlap but you get my point they're unique characters they haven't been invented before now which I like I don't like because Disney is just a rehash of old characters that's why I've never got into Disney Infinity because if I don't like the characters I'm not gonna buy them and I didn't like many of their characters so and that's another thing I'm trying to in my opinion, why Skylanders is better, and that is one of the major reasons I love the unique characters that are new, different, and you get more excited about them when they're new as opposed to just rehashed characters from something else. So, this is where you're going to see more pictures, and we're going to do this really quickly. First, Here's a few pictures, screenshots of, we will start with Food Fight, who is a new core character. The next new and last core character I have in my information is Chopper. And let me say before I boop the video, the photos up, I mean, just from his gameplay, what I've seen and his look is amazing. He's a baby T-Rex. He could easily be one of my favorite characters. But sometimes I say that and the characters turn out not to be that good. But he looks amazing. Here's some photos. Hopefully I'll get you some video soon. Alright, next up, a few Trap Masters. Now, the Trap Master figures are going to be a little bigger. They'll be bigger than these guys. I don't think as big as giants, so somewhere in between. So let's look at first snapshot.
And the last character I have is Wallop, who is eerily similar, kind of, to Chaos, but he has two hammers. And here he is. So there are some pictures of the newest Skylanders in Skylanders Trap Team. So that's the characters, like I said. I love that they're unique, new, different, every game. Of course, I mean, except for the reposes. I love that, and that's why I will always like this game. So I have pretty much gone over the list. Um, let me know what you think, some of the questions I asked you uh, about the traps. Are you going to trap more than one villain in those traps? Are you more apt to me trap a villain, one villain in each trap, which means you're going to have to buy more traps. But I'm telling you, for me, it's an easier way to play. Um... Although, if you want to play with someone else, you might need to capture two villains in a trap. So that's one question. Let me know. Hmm, what else? I asked you a few other questions. I don't even remember. Let me know what you think of the new characters. Like I said, Chopper's going to be one of my favorites. I'm looking over my list. Um, we don't know if they'll be reposing giants. I doubt swappers. They usually, and probably not giants either, only because um, the way they seem to be doing the game is each um, game has a new kind of branch in Skylanders, giants, swap, force, trap, masters. So I'm thinking not but that you never know and the big thing is this and I haven't talked about this and this is kind of the monkey in the room if you will they did not talk about online play it's not in the press release um, Family Game on TV asked someone in an interview and they couldn't say and I know if they don't include that at least a lot for the for the older people. What time is it? For the older people that play like me, I'll still buy the game. But some people will not buy the game if it doesn't have online play. Because there's a lot of people that's all they like to do. I like the game. I'll play the game. But that will... They'll just lose a ton of sales. So, I'm telling you right now... 95% sure they will have online play, they just haven't announced it because they're not going to lose all that money for the people that will be angry and not buy it if it's not included. So, wait. They have not said everything yet, I promise you. And that brings me to this point. Online play will probably determine what I buy it for um, if it, they don't, some strange reason, reason, don't do online play, I will probably get the Xbox 360 version because that's what I have now. If they do, I might consider buying the PS4 because when they test the games, that's what they play it on. When they did the reveal and they did the little... Um, Reveals to Coinop TV, Family Gamer, Evan Tube. When they demonstrated the game, game, excuse me. They played it on the PS4, and I think Family Game on TV. Um, he did an interview, and the guy from Twice for Bob said the graphics looked the best on the PS4. So. If they have online play, which I'm thinking they will, I might consider buying a PS4. 
which would be cool. So let me know if you have a PS4, what you're thinking, what system you want to play it for, that's the other question. I think that's pretty much it for now. Oh, the other thing, I did see in the reveal video a Gilgrunt. And I, when I did my Skylander 4 kind of videos, what I want in the game, um, you can check those out if you want. I said I hope they don't do Gilgrunt or Trigger Happy, Eruptor, any reposes of basically what would turn out to be series 4 characters. I like the reposes, but it'd be so much better if you put someone in that's new, and we don't need a fourth Gilgrant. And I'm not, I mean, he must be insanely popular for them to include Gilgrant in every game, but I did see Gilgrant almost positive in their release video. So that's my only complaint now. Literally, that's my only complaint. And I'll still buy it, but. Like I said, get someone else different. Series 4 reposes are a little much. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to have to put this video together now. I'm going to leave you with a few screenshots. Yeah, it's a few. A few scenes um, that will kind of give you an idea of what the game will look like. And it will look outstanding. Like I said, especially... If you have an Xbox One and, like I said, a PS4. So here's those scenes. There'll be much more later, like I said. When they give me stuff, I turn around and I give it right back to you. Here they are. You have a great day. Comment below. Fill the comments. Fill the thumbs up. Have a great day and we'll see you soon when more information is available. Hopefully some videos.